Hey everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to take a regular portrait such as this and transform it into something like this. So, you know, adding a texture into the background, adding new colors, kind of just like spicing up the image, if you will. E even though I don't really like anything spicy, because yeah, my doctor told me I can't have any of that. So, spicy in Photoshop. Now, to make an image like this, you're going to need a texture of some kind. Now, this is based on personal preference, what kind of image you want in the back. I found this image on Tumblr. I did not create this image. I found it and I actually overlaid it just to experiment and I really liked how it turned out on the image. So I was like, hey, you know, I'll run with this. You could go into Google um, or go on DeviantArt. I actually have a couple of grunge textures on my website as well. I will link those. Um, you can use any of those that you want and use them to overlay the image. But for this tutorial, I'm using this image here. So I'm going to go to file and copy or edit copy. You think like after using Photoshop for like a million years, I'd know where the copy button is. So I don't. Uh, let's just go back to our original image and begin. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is paste the tiny little baby, look how small that is, oh my god. Okay, so after it's pasted, you can simply Command T, press Command T, it's going to open up the Transform tool in Photoshop. You can hold Shift Alt and scale it so that it fits kind of where you want it. And I, you know what, I have this problem where I want the tutorial image to match exactly with the other image that I just did, but it's really never going to be the same twice, so, you know. I'm just going to do the best I can for this. So we're going to go from normal to hard light. And as you can see, you can it already transformed the image in itself. Now, the top three options that I use when I overlay an image with a solid background are overlay, soft light, and hard light. I will show you what each of those does. That's overlay and that's soft light. So depending on your preference, again, I have to keep repeating this because it's all about you. Like literally, the only thing I care about right now is you guys and what you guys like. So you overlay whichever one you guys you like and just run with it. And run like the wind, like the police is chasing you. So now what we're going to do is mask this so that the model is actually not covered up by these beautiful little stars. So I press the mask tool and now I'm going to grab a brush. I'm going to make sure that it's like a nice fluffy brush. It's a default brush. Um, hardness is at 0%. And with my background color switched to black, I'm going to start erasing her face. Only the facial features that I want to show. So if you don't want any of this to be covered, just erase away. And if you don't know anything about masks, like you're watching me do this and you're just like going to cry, don't worry, I have a tutorial all on masks and I will link that as well. So I'm selectively like deleting and adding different things. So if you want to add, again, go to the white foreground color. If you want to delete, use black. And I'm going to add this one. She's looking like Sailor Moon with that over her head. I love Sailor Moon, but... Okay, so I'm going to keep a lot of this, actually. And you can also lower the opacity if you want it to be a little bit more blended. Which I'm doing on the bottom parts here. It's really looking like she's in outer space here. Okay, so I think this is looking pretty good. You can also lower the opacity. I'm going to keep it like at 95. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is add some color to the edges and I'm going to make a new layer, Command Shift N. And I'm going to grab this blue color, it really doesn't matter what color blue, um, go from normal to soft light. And then again, using a brush that has 0% hardness, it could be at any default round brush, just sweep the edges of that. Sweepity sweep, sweep, sweep. I should be a singer. Are, th are there tryouts for American Idol? Is that show ended yet after like 20 million seasons? Okay. So this is how it's looking now. All I did was just go over the edges of that. Look at how nice that's looking right now. 
and you can pick any color like let's say you have something against the color blue you know bad childhood memory i don't even know what it is you add purple okay add red whatever you're feeling if you're angry just do it red yellow whatever and the next layer that we're going to use um, is the white color the white color um, a white brush and i made a new layer i'm going from normal to let's do overlay for this one and i'm making sure my opacity is a little bit low for the white because i don't want it to be too overwhelming so with the white color i'm just simply brushing over some areas so that it can pop out a little bit more like as you can see i'll shut that layer on and off so you guys can see how it's popping out those colors there we go like i wish i was in this picture right now it's looking pretty cool You don't want to do too much, even though I literally am doing too much, as I'm telling you guys not to do that. Last but not least, we can do a gradient map, I guess. Go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then gradient map. And you don't have to do this step, but I don't know, I'm just, I can't, I keep adding stuff. That's my problem, I keep adding stuff onto my pictures. So let's go from normal to soft light, and I just used an orange to white gradient map. And I'm really lowering this. I just want like a pop of color. Is that too much to ask? I think that is looking pretty good. Let me try it on multiply. That looks pretty good too. Also, one very last step that you could take if you wanted to jazz up this image a little bit, make a new layer and using a tan or beige color, you can go from normal to soft light or actually uh, to screen. And what I'm going to do is on a low opacity, I'm just going to like sweep over some sections of this just to make it look a little bit more intergalactic, I guess. I mean, we're going with the stars theme here. I mean, we're practically in space. I mean, might as well, right? Uh, you can also, if you don't want it too light, you can change it to soft light as well. And let me show you guys the complete before and after. So this is before and that's after. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you guys think and thank you guys for watching.